Lot of diamonds, I ain't never do you cheat, baby. Yeah, cause you ain't cheat, baby. Can you be my destiny? Yeah, I hope you my destiny. Yeah. What's up, y'all? We coming at y'all today with a different segment on my channel. So this is gonna be like a podcast. It's our first time trying it out, so we're gonna see how we like it. And if we love it, you guys love it, we wanna keep it going. Alright, so today we're gonna be talking about um so, wait, I came up with a name, first of all, for the, for the little podcast series on my channel. It's called Unboxing Raw Reality mm -hmm. Network. <laughs> okay, I just added the network. Anywho, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe on this video. If you have any questions that you want us to talk about or any topics you want us to talk about, let me know. Um, his information is going to be in the description box in the description box down below as well as my social media follow us both on all platforms he has songs that's releasing he has an album that's about to be released in november this month by thanksgiving on thanksgiving whichever one so stay tuned for that if y'all did not know this is my boyfriend pro he's been on a lot of my videos probably all of them if you don't know now you know but this is my famous boyfriend so get to know him you're gonna hear about him oh, <laughs> so no you're gonna hear about him anywho so let's jump right into the topic of the day do you feel as though you do you feel as though people use i grew up this way as an excuse for their action i do kind of but like is they wrong if they do it's like a bigger question about it. I do. I feel like people say it, yeah, but I think it depends on what it is. is it? Yeah, I don't think it works for everything. That's what I'm saying. And at a certain point in your life, you're old enough to know right from wrong or what you should or shouldn't be doing. So just because you grew up a certain way, you can't always use that to for somebody to overlook or just throw behind them what you just did. Like, for example, like, but, it's different. What? Go ahead. But I was going to say, but some, some shit, you, uh, uh, on the other end, some shit you do got to understand that people did grow up a certain way and not saying to, they should use it as an excuse, but you should give them time to change. Okay, so I'll use me for an example. Okay. All right, so when we be talking and stuff, or especially like in the beginning relationship, how my delivery probably was different than uh, it probably was a delivery. Than what I'm used really to. Want. Yeah. Like you talk louder. I'm not used to being in a yeah, louder Yeah, and to household. you it came off as an aggr as yeah, aggressive. Yeah. Like damn, why you yelling? Yeah. But to we, you, you grew up in a louder household. Yeah. So it's like it wasn't I, to me. It wasn't aggressive, but to yeah. you, you like damn, you being aggressive, you being loud. To me, I just was talking. Mm -hmm. But I grew up in a household to where everybody had a strong point of view. Everybody had a strong, powerful yeah. voice, and. If you got a soft one, you kind of being out overdone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. that's what I had to learn being in this relationship and learning my partner. I have like being around the family, like I can see like they're they're louder than my family. So like they yell about everything, which is nothing but wrong nothing, with that. Like they're hype, arguing. like they don't be arguing, no, don't be no. fighting, like they cool as hell. It's yeah. just they just their tone is louder than you know you than the usual. So that's yeah, right, like yeah. I guess that's that's you can use that in that sense. And I feel like you can what? use I grew up that way too in a traumatic way. I think it works for more traumatic situations. Like I do this because something traumatized me. Yeah. I don't think you can say like something that you can change. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like something like that you can change. Like, damn, like, um, why you ain't take the garbage out all week? Damn, um, I I grew up like this. My my uh my older brother always took the trash out. So I never had to, to do it. it. Yeah, no, that's insane. Yeah, no, that's different. Like yeah, you're you're yeah. a grown ass man now. Like you know yeah. that's, that's why I say it's, the it's, man of the house. Like it's the give trash, and take. Yeah. It's certain shit that you can I can understand, and it's some shit I can't understand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but all of it go back to you do have to give people time to do certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? When we first got together and you moved in. That was your first place mm -hmm. being somewhere. So if I was to say, okay, uh, bae, um, pay the Wi-Fi bill or something for me. And you forget, I can't get on you for forgetting something that you didn't have to 
pay attention to. Because I'm not used to. Yeah, you not you not used to that. That's like, not something. In my like head, like damn, I gotta pay this. But I have moved time. out as yeah. I had my own place at 16 with yeah. my brother. So you been doing so it. responsibility was something I had to learn. Not saying you wasn't responsible, but that type of responsibility is something I learned. Early on. I had to learn early on. Yeah. So I, I had my year two for the hiccups and shit. So it's like, I, I would have been wrong to be like, what is you doing? How you forget? You just got a Wi-Fi bill. How, How you, you forget? forget to pay That's the bill. only thing. Because like, I never had to pay a bill. That's what I'm saying. My Not parents, a Wi-Fi or something. Yeah, yeah, my mom made sure the bills was paid. Yeah, yeah. Now that I'm out on my own, I have to, I have to like do a mental note or sometimes he has to remind me like damn this dude damn this dude you know like, and to me i'm or i'm so used to being by myself so i'm in my head you know what i'm saying or in the beginning relationship i'm getting like a little agitated because i'm like damn you have this one bill you know what i'm saying you have wi-fi that's how are you forgetting just to pay the little wi-fi bill i gotta remember to pay this this and that how do you just forget that the whole time i had to back for yeah back and be like yeah. this is her first time had no, you know what I'm saying? Not saying you wasn't paying bill, but you just had a phone bill and you going about your day. And then you probably had a phone bill on a family line with somebody. So it's like, it got paid at that date rather you sent your money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was yeah. different. So I just had to realize that, you know what I'm saying? In my head, I'm getting that like, it's one bill. How you be getting the Wi-Fi? It's $50. But she not you. You know what I'm saying? So that was just a little in-depth example of that. But people can abuse that shit. They can abuse it. Can the thing. abuse that okay, shit. Okay, so man. how do you feel about how do you think that applies to a relationship as far as um how you treat a woman? Can that excuse be used? Because some people say, I didn't grow up in a two parent household, so I didn't know how to treat you. How do you think yeah, that works? I, like I that? grew up um different than a lot of people. I don't really wanna yeah, we don't have I to get, get into that. Deep into but... It, but I grew up different. I'm going to get into uh, parenting. You know what I'm saying? Just had the parent household like it was you, your father, uh, your mom, my father, my mom. Like, I get into that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have the normal uh, Two relationship household. with my uh-huh. dad. Like, I ain't had a normal relationship. I didn't have that board games, all that stuff that you would think of father do i didn't have that you know what i'm saying that's not my, my childhood was a little different but i feel like i never gave that excuse to why i, I with my son I don't you didn't let that, that affect you of how to it be a man me. in your relationship no, does I, that make sense like you didn't let because you didn't, I didn't have use like, that as an excuse when i had my son yeah i ain't use that as an excuse like a motherfucker be like i don't know how to be no dad i don't know how to be no dad like, I didn't grow up with an example of a father. This is what you do. I'm not saying my not pops were good pops. Not 100% full example. But, like, he yeah. was around. Yeah. I knew my pops was. Yeah. He was around. Yeah. But it wasn't what I'm doing for my son. It wasn't yeah. hands-on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I didn't have a hands-on role. Like, like I had my brother. You can say that, too. Like, I didn't really have my father around as much. I don't know how to be a so dad. I don't know, I don't that's know what I'm parent. saying. But you did the opposite. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm... So, that's what I'm... Uh, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Like... That's like you weak for doing some shit. Like that's lame to me for me to have a son and then be like, oh, well, I didn't have my. That's weak to me. Yeah, and I feel like that should push you to want to do better for your child because you know how that felt growing up. Yeah, that, that's and how I look at it. Yeah, you shouldn't want to give your child the same that you had. Like, damn, I didn't have it, so I ain't gonna give my son that type shit. I'm glad that it made you do the opposite. Like you're there, you're attentive, you you know, you t- yeah. you do what you're supposed to do as a father. Like it's know? just basically like. If a nigga giving y'all that example, or you hear a nigga giving that example, I'm the, the prime example of that he bullshit. He don't want to. Something you want to do, man, you're going to figure that shit out. I don't know how to be no yeah. father. I have common sense and no right from wrong. But as far as that layout blueprint, I didn't have that blueprint. I didn't have mm-hmm. that growing up. But I never gave that excuse. I'm trial and error. I'm there for my son. I'm going to do what I got to. So if a nigga give me that excuse and he bullshitting, he just bullshit. He don't want to. Because I want to. So, therefore, yeah. I'm here. I'm hands-on. I'm doing what I got to do. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm learning while I go. But we skipped over the relationship part. Yeah. We went to parenting. Yeah, because it was just easier. Okay. To do. So, like, do it affect your relationship? Like, I grew up this way as far as... You can use, like... Yeah. Your mom kept the house clean. Versus yeah. now, like... Damn, babe, like... <laughs> I know. do, I do clean though. That's not what I'm saying. I, I did grow like, up in a household where, where that is a thing. Yeah, like, like, like cleaning, like that type of shit was just 
like my mama just was that it was just an older older thing yeah. like my mama that was the type of shit she did you know what i'm saying and, um, so i guess that'll go for me like yeah do you feel like yeah that's a question like i can say i didn't grow up doing it because i did grow up doing the dishes <laughs> i did grow up cleaning the house i i think when i think i think everybody's situation just different i feel like my mama was my mama would okay for example you know what i'm saying growing up you might see a woman cleaning extra or doing i feel like you just got we, we have help you know what i'm saying if you by yourself you'd probably be cleaning all the time now nah, because you by yourself now nah, you got a teammate you know what i'm saying so you shouldn't have to do that all the time or by yourself you know what i'm saying but how we do it in our household it's 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 kind of it's shit that you that the man do and the woman do. Mm -hmm. That's the type of shit we got. The man touched the trash, the woman touched the dishes. I don't know the last time I washed the dishes. I don't know the last time. Yeah, I do know the last time I washed clothes. But when I wash clothes, I wash like, you know, I got but something bills, to do tomorrow. The bills are taken care of though, so that's okay. So don't look at it like no controlling thing like, damn, nah. she do the dishes and I'm gonna do this. No. No. Nah. No, 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 no. No, nah, it's just like, Man, it's man shit and it's woman shit. Yeah. That's how I feel. It's a woman role and it's a man role. It's a woman role and it's a man role. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like a man should touch dishes. I don't feel like a woman should cut grass. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? Take the trash out. Take the trash out. Or pump the gas. Pump gas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like it's just little shit that... I just don't feel like that. Right. Like, I would literally drive home on E just so he can go take the car to put gas. Do you think that's because we grew up like... Would you say you grew up like that? Yeah, like I never had to get off the car and pump the gas unless it was just me and my mama and we were running out of gas. Mm -hmm. Even then, I think she would still get out and do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, like I feel like that's in my head. Like a man is supposed to pump the gas. Like anything can happen. Anybody could be watching me. You never know. Like Question. I'm not on my P's and Q's as much as a man would be. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't think like... We know dangerous shit can happen, but we don't be on it like, damn, like that car circled around here three times. Like a man would. He would be on it like, I'm about to leave this fucking gas station. This car circled around three times. We got to go. In my head, I'm like, oh, they just looking for a pump. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all look out for shit that we I think y'all can see. be on P2, but I just yeah, feel like. Yeah, we going to be on it, but like. I just feel like more. I, I don't know. Like, it's just I just feel like. Some, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I still think. Like I, I wouldn't don't don't sell yourself short. I I done seen women, you, you my mom, like I know women who be on point just as mm -hmm. as on point as a man. I just feel like yeah. it's more dangerous. It's Cause it's just more shit that can happen when the out. woman, even if you're yeah. on point, you still get it's still certain situations where you would be tried more or mm -hmm. you're you're more vulnerable than the guy. Regardless, you could have a you could be on point more than him, but they probably will try you before him just because mm -hmm. you're a woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't sell yourself short because women be on P two, but it's still they still try a woman yeah, before they yeah. try a guy. He'd be a he could be a pussy, she could be gangster because there's some mm -hmm. gangster ass women out here, but he won't get tried just because he looked the role. Exactly. And she's a woman, so they're gonna try her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's you know what I'm saying. That's the type of shit to go to. So I was gonna ask something like. uh Say you dealing with a guy who not and you're like this ain't something you you've been in a relationship for a while with him. Mm -hmm. This is you going to it. This how he is. Do a man get that? Cause like okay, so like let me see for example, um, I get certain respect because of I, I get certain respect in the relationship and give certain respect in the relationship, and we have certain understandings and stuff because. I know my man role, you know your woman role, I respect your woman role, you respect my man role. And I earned my man role. You know what I'm saying? You earned your role. So do you think if a guy's not doing a lot, but this is new, this ain't no you been in the mud with him, he didn't had his time and he just off right now. This is you you dating and y'all getting serious and you he ain't he not um he don't have those same thing. He don't believe in the, you know, I'm a, I, I got you type of shit. He, he like, we got each other. He on some, let me see, like, uh, I'm trying to say, like, if a nigga, like, if a nigga not doing everything that a man's supposed to do, is y'all still, do women still 
treat him like a man. But we still get that man treatment. Oh. If a nigga not paying majority of the bills, if a nigga not ensuring that you, if a nigga you go pull up to a pump and he not hopping off the car, no. you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, little shit like that, he just not doing shit that you think in your head like, my man, my man, my man. You think in your head like, what would my man be doing? What would I want a man who's my man to do? He ain't doing that. Like, he believes <laughs> No, that. that's my bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, so it's he's like. he's a bitch. He's, no. I can't, I don't think I can settle down with a nigga that's not doing manly things. Like, because I'm a queen. I'm a princess. Like, you should treat me as such. Like, my daddy raised me to be treated as a princess. Like, a like. Okay, you know? so another question. What are your thoughts when it comes to. Men who feel like, no, we busting all this down. 50, rent, 50. rent fifteen hundred. I need seven fifty. The I light mean, bill is five hundred. I you you know you got to cash at me that two fifty right. The Wi Fi ninety. Like I have to he pay something. He wants you to send him forty five. I have to pay something. He won't have for he won't have on everything. I can't relate because that ain't my situation. Right, but what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on that? Do that make him? It all depends on a woman if she agree with that. Then you gotta have that conversation in your relationship. I don't. I can't relate because I don't have it in my in my relationship. So like, yeah, if, your if I have to put in, I will put in. Or if I just have it and I just want to offer to pay, then I can do that. But I have so the you ain't got no thoughts on niggas who that's what it is. Like that's what it is. He not broke, but he just feel like. Whatever we got, you can say I didn't grow up like that. Where my dad paid, right? Can he use that? Can he say he can you know use that for that woman? But <laughs> that's, that's, that's something y'all wow. gotta pay attention to because a woman would be quick to say, Nah, we ain't doing that, we ain't this, this, and that. But if a nigga gonna come into the picture and he's doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Y'all got to do heavy lifting in other oh, ways. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. But no, women don't be as understanding to that as you. A woman to come into it like, and I, fuck with you, you know, nigga, no, I need you to take care of majority of this shit. If not all, if you a baller, I need to take care of every single cent. But, it, you know what I'm saying, however it is, I need to take care of all this, majority of all this. But then a bitch don't even, but it's you true. don't even clean the toilet. You don't even, it's you don't even wash you the dishes. you yourself when you... First, get in a relationship. He agree with me. So if you, <laughs> he is agreeing. So like, if you start the relationship off, half everything, and you know, <laughs> he called. Me. He called. I think he's he saying bae. Hey, he's saying something. <laughs> That's what he do though when he wake up. Ain't nobody up in there. He get the hey. Come on, man. But uh, what you saying? I said it all depends on if that's how you start the relationship out. If you start your relationship out where you pay for everything, you tell her, like, I got this, I got this, don't worry about nothing, I provide all of that, then you can't expect two years down the line where she like, damn, that's not the nigga I met. Nah, we go but it, it's different. It's different if y'all going through hard, if your nigga going through hard times and you have to help. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, it's understandable. But if you just on some... Fuck that, I ain't doing that shit no more. Like, I know I started off like that, but she gotta give up some. That's crazy because that's how you started off the relationship. Now you expect me to give you almost half of each bill. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't right. start If you started like that and, and you then, accepted it, then it is. Yeah, that's yeah. Really because, or if you, if you started off like, damn, and y'all agreed upon that in the beginning, y'all had this conversation in the beginning, it wouldn't be a problem later on. If she agree with that in the beginning of the relationship or once y'all start getting serious, then it should not be no problem. That's why y'all have to establish certain stuff before y'all get committed with somebody because yeah. it's going to cause, it's going to cause, you know, yeah. it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. I, this is just a conversation y'all have to have in the beginning. I mean, like I said, I cannot relate because it's crazy. Yeah, I think it's to each his own. I just feel like women be on that type of time. Like, I, I find it funny when a girl be like, I need me a nigga that's going to pay this and pay that, and I ain't trying to have no worries, and we need to be out of town, and we need to be doing this. But a bitch don't be doing nothing womanly. You want him to come in and portray and live out this man role that you have in your head that he's supposed to do, which I agree with. I have no problem with a man should be taking care 
and most of the financial things that's going on and lift those. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's an understanding that I have and a belief that I have. But I also have a belief and an understanding when it comes to y'all in too. And a lot of these women don't be trying to do that. Like, okay, boom, he doing this, this, and that. This is what I need you to do, nigga. But is you, is the house clean when he get home? You know what I'm saying? Is food already made? Head on the way? Yeah, so you said like if I do my part, like, you have to be doing you gotta your part be doing, too. If I'm making this shit as stress free as it can be on you, and these is the the shit that I'm lifting off your back, the it gotta be something minimal. that you lifting off my back. I'm not for. coming home and yeah. I'm not wiping shit. I'm not doing none of that at home stuff because that's what you're. You know, I just really feel like I feel like that. If that's what the man doing, you need to be doing like that's how I feel. Because that's the way you grew up. Can you say that? Like the woman yeah. did everything, made the food. I grew up like that. Yeah, yeah kept the house like clean, made the food. Kept I grew the food up where washed. at times, majority of the time, at times, I would say at times because you know, you know my situation. But at times, when it was that time period to where my OG didn't have a worry at mm -hmm. all financially, we didn't have a worry financially for that little time period that it, it was going on. Mm -hmm. My pops didn't have a worry home wise. He didn't mm -hmm. have a worry kid wise. He didn't have a worry, you know what I'm saying? Home was, felt like home. It was made to be mm -hmm. home and it was, it was taken care of because she had the stress of all that other shit off of her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, right, real so life happened later on. Shoulders, so yeah, if I'm going to take this off your shoulders. So yeah, I'm going to take this off your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? on the table when I get home from making our money or whatever I'm doing. I'm yeah. here risking it for the biscuit. That's insane. <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. if that's what's going, that's how I grew up though. So I feel like somebody. I can't wait to do this with like more people or or people from like different to get different perspectives. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I can't wait to if it get like to that point. But like that's really how I grew up, and um, a motherfucker might not agree with it. A motherfucker might be like, "No, you're supposed to." And I do agree. I agree with that. I'm still so good hearted, like. I would do that, all that manly shit. Still come home and help out my wife. Nobody's saying that. Yeah, yeah. But for the most part, that's really how I feel about it. If it, you know what I'm saying? If a nigga doing all that, you have no worry of that. He should have no worry when it come to that. Like, mm -hmm. it shouldn't have no worry at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should be taking the load off each other. Each other. And if you, equally it's no other way to take, you got to take that load off. You scratch off my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, it's a teamwork, and you just know your position. I know my position. I'm, feel me? I'm quarterback. You know That's what I'm saying? I'm calling the plays. I, boom, I got it. You know what I'm saying? You you got my back, though. You 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 on the line with me. You know you know what I'm saying? It's hard to, yeah. So, some people will disagree with that, though. Yeah. For sure, will disagree with that. All right, so y'all, we're going to wrap up this segment right here. Y'all heard our point That's of view. That's it? Yeah. Dog, let's do one more. You think it's good? Yeah. Like we did good? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. All, All right, right. y'all. So that's going to wrap up this segment for today. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, us giving sure. our opinions on how we feel about this topic. And give y'all opinions down below and, you know, how y'all feel about it. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Tell a friend and tell a friend to come to, our, to my channel. And yeah, y'all going to see my boyfriend, Pearl, my famous boyfriend, featured on my channel a lot. So, so yeah. I might so, be in a couple of these because I'm an Aquarius. I like talking yeah, about shit sometimes. Yeah. His brain is just like, he's just so intelligent. Like, the shit that come out of his mouth. I'm all right. Just wait. Just, just stay tuned. Y'all all see. Y'all see. Like... He loves having these deep conversations and to pick people's brains. So yeah, she gonna edit it out, but yeah. I say let's do another topic. So yeah, she gonna we can edit do it another out, topic. But she feel like it's too long. I no, mean, we, like, we can do a part two. Or like we can do another topic, yeah. But like, I want her to do another topic. Okay. Or something. All right, y'all. So we're out. Thanks for watching. A lot of diamonds I ain't never do you cheat, baby.